So just training here at uh, SWMA, leading up to my match with Talos and Suarez and Subversion. Um, just getting out here to get some preparation in uh, because I think it's going to be a pretty big match and I, I think it's a match that I need to take seriously. I've been training here now uh, for the last two years but only consistently getting out here uh, at least over the last six months, maybe a little bit longer, just because I find every single time I head out here, I pretty much just like level up every single time. Um, I've never trained here once where I haven't felt like I've uh, improved in some aspect of my Jiu Jitsu. Even though I have to take uh, probably about an hour and a half to get out here, it's worth it every single time. So I'm looking forward to getting back into competing. Since COVID hit, uh, sort of like beginning of 2020, like end of 2019, I've only really competed once. I've only had the one super fight in that time. So it's uh, given me a chance to work more on my ability as a coach. So I've been doing things like actually just teaching a lot more classes, teaching a lot more jiu-jitsu overall, as well as working on uh, you know, instructionals uh, for Technically, which I sell, as well as uh, things for YouTube. Um, so it's given me an opportunity just to analyze my own jiu-jitsu a little bit more and also just look at like the like jiu-jitsu a little bit more broadly. So hopefully that means then that uh, having broadened my approach to jiu-jitsu, I can bring something different to this match, um, a little less uh, one-dimensional and what people will expect. and ideally just like attacking every single aspect of the game. This is a match I'm particularly excited for. Uh, like it's a, a match that I can sort of uh, fangirl over a little bit. Like it's cool to be at a stage in my Jiu Jitsu where I'm having matches that I'm excited about and I can sort of look at the matchups that I've got and go like, oh, like that's a, a really interesting moment. It's sort of like uh, the matches that I would watch coming up through Jiu Jitsu. So, I'm up against Talos and Suarez and I've actually followed his journey through Jiu Jitsu since he was about a blue belt. Like he's someone that I've actively watched and watched him rise through the ranks and you know, he's, he's become like an incredibly high level competitor. So this match will be interesting because uh, as I approach like most of my matches, I've got like a, a slower, more methodical style of Jiu Jitsu. Um, and so I think a big component of this match will be me using that approach to Jiu-Jitsu to slow down um, the fast and aggressive pace of Taliesin. Um, and I think that's also going to be a very interesting clash that we'll see there. So training out of Sydney West now, having previously like trained at Absolute for so many years, hopefully I'll be able to bring a few surprises to this match, uh, a few things I've been working on with Coach Luke.